Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother... Hi guys, and welcome to a glorious summer's evening in the UK. It's either pissing down or it's red hot. Can't make his mind up. So tonight, I'm out again with the uh, ORX, going to give it a rip. Settings I'm going to be using, coins deep again. Um, it, frequency is about 14 and a half, I think, whatever that means. And sensitivity and all that, I'll just leave that whatever it's at. So let's give it a go. I want to get a bit of silver. I want this to prove itself. Let's prove it's worth its money. Because I paid for this. Didn't get it for free. Paid for it the same as you'd have to pay for it. So let's give it a try. See what we can get. So let's crack on and have a little dig, shall we? Hi guys, here are the settings. Coins deep. I've just ground balanced it. This. <laughs> Whatever that means. So they're the settings I'm using tonight. I'm going to stay in them. It seemed to be uh, quite successful the last couple of nights. So let's give it a try then. Let's crack it on. Hi guys, first signal. 77, 76. Could be good. Should that coin range? Let's give it a dig. Hi guys, this was it. Not really a coin. It's round. It's a bolt. Let's carry on. We want some round in the ground, some silver. Let's crack it on. Boom. First round this guys. I didn't have think that was that first silver coin. Unfortunately, it's not. So let's keep going. That was um I think it was 84 H5 on the scale. We don't want any more of them really, do we? Let's carry on. Hi guys, this is an interesting find. Came up as a uh, 92, 93 on the, the dais. It was a horse brass. It's sitting there on top, like that. So I pushed it to the ground. Amazing. If that's sitting on the top, what else could be sitting on the top? Cool. Love these. Found so many of these around these fields. Oh, some of it looked brilliant when it was all cleaned up and all brassed. So I crack it on. See what else we can get. Five minutes later. Hi guys. I think I've just redeemed myself. I've had nothing but bits of lead and bits of crap. Um. It's a lot darker than what it actually looks on my phone. It's, it's getting quite dusk now. It's near, what, quarter past 20 past eight. So I haven't got long, but I'll just show you this fine. It's redeemed myself, redeemed, redeemed. Hi guys, there it is, there it is. Ooh, come here. Spindle whirl. I'm gonna say medieval looking at that pattern on there. Awesome find. Meanwhile, hi guys. Next find, kind of ironic. This next find it came up as about a 90, just 89, 90s, and it is a man on a tractor. Okay, his tractor's a bit screwed now because he's lost his wheels and his engine, but it's a farmer on his tractor. It's quite an old toy, that I'd probably say 50s for that, I'd say. So, if I can find people on tractors, why can't I be finding any coins? It's got to be if they're playing in these fields with tractors. There's coins. It's got to be. It's got to be. Because someone lost the tractor. <laughs> Let's crack it on. Hi guys. Just had this. Does that look like a coin to you? A oh, piece of grass. Ooh, could it be? Could it be? Live reveal. Come on. Be a coin. Be a, it's be a coin. That's all I want. I want a coin. It doesn't look silver, but... Be a coin. Come on. Oh. Half, no. 
Oh. Um. E no, 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 no. It's. Uh, I don't know. Like a tag. Or something. Um, it's not a coin tag. <laughs> you like one? I thought for a minute it could have been a cartwheel by the size of the, the roundness. Oh, oh well, never mind. It come up as 75 on the uh, on the old uh, ORX. Oh well, let's carry on and see what else we can get. Hi guys, Whew, it took some time. At last, I think we've got ourselves a coin. A uh, copper one by the look of it. Let's have a look. It just looks like a ball then I think. Yeah, I think it's just a ball George, I think. It's still a coin. It's quite bloody old. Yeah, I can't get any detail off that. It's a ball Georgie. It's a borgy. Where's a copper of silver? Let's crack it on. Hi guys, yes we're back from Holland. This is part two of this video. Part two. Uh, the first part you saw the spindle wheel, awesome find. Uh, I've come into a field, as you see behind, I've got some grass. Um, I'm gonna leave those wheat stalks for a little bit. Uh, I'll wait till he's pulled the wheat stalks out basically. Um, so I'm gonna give it a crack in here today, see what I can pull up. Show you the settings in a second and what I'm going to use. I've changed things a little bit, so you might as well give things a change. Get used to the machine. I'm still trying. I mean, I've only been out with it about four times, so we're still getting used to the settings. I'm giving some more settings off my eyes. I'm going to try them and give them a go. So let's crack on and have a little dig, shall we? Hi guys, these are the settings. Um, I've turned the frequency up to 13.3. I'm going to give it a go. Okay. Seven sensitivity is at 90. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to give them a try. I can hear it chipping and chattering already, so I might have to turn a bit of summer down because it's, it's, it's picking some Nothing bad, but it's picking it up. So, let's give them a second to go. Let's crack it on. That's fine, guys. Gosh, that was, that was an hard target to locate. It came up as a 45. Rising up to a 57, and it is the gold, golden piece of tinfoil. A load of shot. Let me first target them. Come on, I want some coins. Let's keep going. Hi, guys. First, first decent recordable find about a piece of coke, piece of coke, piece of coke, and two pieces of tin foil. But now, this came up as a 74. I'm not 100% sure. Definitely a coin. It, it, it. When I first saw it, I thought, is, is that a copper hammered or a jet? I mean, it could even be a Roman, that. That is old. I think for now, we're just going to have to have that as a mystery. Certain different lights, I think I can see heads and details, but I'm not 100% sure if I can now. I think I can. Awesome find. If you know what this coin is, please drop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, got a Seventy yard, seventy three, come up as an eighties before. It's got a bit of an iron grunt there. I've got a feeling that could be deep iron, but let's give it a try, see what it is. Hi guys. It wasn't deep iron, but it was iron all the same. It was the compulsory iron ring. 
it, before I did it, it dug it, it went from 84, 76, then it was going down to the 40s, 45, and it kept giving this <clears throat> like an iron grunt, so I knew there was something iron in there. And that's what it is, it's seen the roundness and thought, oh, that's a nice bit of a ground. Uh, unfortunately, it's made of iron. That is a uh, Stone Age um, 50p piece. They had them in the Stone Age 50p piece. Yeah. Used to tie it on a bit of rope so they wouldn't lose it, but somebody just broke, snapped, and lost it. <laughs> Let's crack it on. Let's get some more. Not of them. Not. Uh. Hi guys. I've not been having much luck. I keep getting like there's loads of tin foil in here. I'm trying to work out what the numbers are. Tin foil. Should I discriminate them? If you discriminate it on a, um, a Garrett, you're gonna miss the damage. So I'm working that out. You get a lot of high nineties, bit of coat. But I just had this. Came in at eighty-seven. Ah, it's not brilliant fine but there we go old buckle like a clip buckle and let's say 50 60 years old perhaps still it's better than tin foil and chat let's carry on see what else we can get hi guys thanks for looking in that's it for this video hope you like the finds some good bits some not so good bits yeah, so I'm still getting used to this day, so I'll get the hang of it eventually. So thanks for looking in. Please don't forget to subscribe at the bottom. Um, if you enjoyed it, subscribe. If you didn't, thanks for looking in anyway. It keeps the views up. Join me on the next. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother...